Hello there and welcome to another video and today in this video I will be going over how to use an image as reference in Leonardo AI and if that sounds about right then let's dive right in. So the first thing you'd want to do is to of course come down to user tools right here and we would want to go to image generation you can find it over here at the top where it says get started here we'll just click on this one right here. Alright so the option we are looking to use is this image guidance right here so we'll just go with this one first and as you can see i've already uploaded an image i can of course get rid of this and add a new one if you don't know how to do it you can check our other videos on how to upload uh, an image to uh, use as reference so probably i'll just uh, do this right here just so you see the whole process or i can equally drag and drop uh, an image but i'll just uh, i'll just upload one real quick all right so from over here there are of course a couple of things that i would like to do and one of them is the image strength so i would like to increase the image strength up a bit and uh, well we would need to look for a fine-tuned model that best suits what we are trying to do and i'll just click on select other models right here just so we see other options that are available to us and from over here i'll just select something or dream shaper right here and from over here we can activate this model if you scroll all right so after that the next thing i'd want to do is to change um some information right here and i think i'll just go with anime so after that we can go back to image guidance and if everything here looks good the next thing i'd want to do is to go to prompt generation and I, uh, this is where you can, of course, get some ideas as to um, the kind of prompt that you would want. So all you have to do is input some keywords. And I'll just put um, anime art over here. And I'll just click on generate ideas. And this should uh, generate some prompt ideas for you that you can use. So let's see. Uh, all right so after several modifications i realized that this one would be best suited for what i'm trying to do so i can just click on this generate icon right here and that's of course after uh, setting up every other thing so let's take a look at the image just to see exactly what we have so after some time your image will be generated um, based on the image we used as reference and this is basically our image which we've used as guide right here. So that's basically how to do that. Uh, if this video did, of course, give you some guides or tips on how to go about the process, then of course, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials. And I will see you in another video.